I'm going to show you how to set up a basic game um, in Blender. So basically what I'm going to show you is how to create kind of a character um, and being able to play it with the controller keys that I'm using right now. So you can jump, you can move with you with any keys you set up to that. So let's get going with that. <clears throat> so I'm going to open up, um, just back, come back to here. So first thing you need to do when you do this is uh, go into the render um, and change that to Blender Game. And then I'm going to go ahead and select my object. And over on the side, there's this icon um, for physics. And we need to change that object when I have it selected to a rigid body. Okay. So now that I've got that set up, now I can go ahead and start in with the controllers. So I'm going to come up here to default and change that to Game Logic. And um, I find the easiest way to do this is if I'm looking straight down on it, so I'm on a top view looking down. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and come down to add a sensor and go ahead and click keyboard. Come down to add control, just use and, and then choose motion over here. And then I've got to go ahead and hook these things up. And on these, I'll go ahead and hook them up. And then on where it says keyboard, right here, I'll click and just use the arrow key and that'll set up that key. And then on this motion area, I'm just going to go ahead and change the, the Y location to 0.1. You can play with that one. So now if I move my mouse over my workspace and press the letter P, now I can move it up and that's all I can do right now. So I've got to set up the other one. So I press escape to get out of that game mode on there. So I'll go ahead and add another sensor. So this time I'll do keyboard. Do another and, and then go ahead and do motion again, and hook these up, and then go ahead on this one. I'll do negative y, so negative 10, and click on that, and just press my down arrow. So whatever key once again you want to use, move my mouse over to my workspace, press letter P. Now it moves forward and backwards. So and pretty much you do the same thing with all the the other pieces, so I'll quickly show you how to do those. So um, I'll go ahead, keyboard, and I'm going to add a bunch of these at the same time, so I don't have to keep going in and doing them. So and and and, and then motion, motion, and then motion. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. So on this one, um, so I'm. Connect them together. So on this one, I'm going to just single click, do my arrow that I want to, or my key that I want to be up on that piece. And then on this one, I'm going to do a rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Z axis and just rotate it three degrees. And once again, you can play with that. Test it out, press P. And now he moves to that direction. Press escape to get out of that mode. Go ahead and close those up. Do the next one, so arrow key to the other side. Better hook those up real quick. And then this one I'm going to do the Z axis, three degrees negative. Now if I press P to test it out, now it goes both ways. And now he's actually moving. <clears throat> and the last thing I want to show is if you want to make him jump, um, then you can go ahead and do that too. So. I'll we'll click on the key and press spacebar, and then I'll go ahead on this one. I'll go ahead, and I, I use a scroller wheel to zoom out so I can see that a little bit better. Um, sorry, this is kind of small. Uh, I'm going to go to the location and change this to, on the z-axis, I'm going to do that positive one. So if I tumble a little bit, and now press P, now he moves those different ways. Spacebar, he actually jumps. So that's just the basics of making your game move.